हाई गाइज फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम टू नेवर एवर मिस एनी ऑफ माई क्रेजी अपडेट्स Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this the Fiat Punto. Now this is of course the diesel. It gets a flip out key. Car looks really very stunning, but this car has been given a slew of modifications. But before that, let's open the engine bay right away to show you the multi jet diesel engine. So this is the engine multi jet cover is nicely placed, and you know you open this cover and then you can obviously go for a tuning box. But this car has a remap done, which I'll show you in a bit. Anyways, you can see there's insulation here. and of course the car looks brilliant it's italian it's sexy the lights look really beautiful as well and of course i mean the grill is massive and wide multi jet written there the fiat logo right there and not much to talk about as such in terms of design because it's a old car however the headlight has been blackened out given the blackened out treatment it gets front parking sensors which are aftermarket this is the towing hook of the vehicle and of course it gets aftermarket rims now these are 17 inches 215 45 17s they obviously make the punto look very sporty but these wheels are absolutely massive massive means massive that's what she said now some stickering fiat written right there and the roof has been given a blackout treatment rather the contrast color and of course the b pillar has been blackened out as well certainly the car looks very nice on these wheels it actually gives it a very good stance as well just look at the wheels okay they are really massive car looks brilliant it's 10 years old plus Rear spoiler after market. This is another spoiler after market, and Punto written right there. So in terms of design, of course the Punto has been an absolutely sensational looking vehicle, and you can see it gets these dual blade wipers as well. But this is not the top trim. The top trim happened to be the Emotion. This is a lower trim. That's why it misses out on steering mounted audio controls, which obviously I'll get into a bit. Now this is the boot of the vehicle, and right now there is a man. Save woofer placed here, amplifiers placed here. Boot is decent size, not the biggest. And uh, let's open the rear seat, or rather, open the rear door. You can see door pockets are not big enough at all. You can't keep a one liter bottle. The seat has been pushed back. There's not much space in the rear as such. And uh, you get to headrest here. Headroom is decent. Seats are comfortable, but knee room and leg room isn't great. You don't get scooped out seat bags. You do get magazine holders here. but that's about it okay now this is also after market to curb the sun and reduce the heat inside the vehicle it feels like a freaking tank all right there's no passive entry there's no push button start none of that front door pockets also small these are the power window switches and there is no dedicated button to lock or unlock the door you just have to push it inside to lock the door and pull it outside to unlock now there's a dead pedal here there's space to keep stuff a lot of buttons for the lights basically front fog light rear fog light and headlight leveling as well now certain ergonomic flaws with this vehicle firstly the seat is comfortable no denying that fact but the steering is just too close to the chest all right it did get a climate control air conditioning okay this is how you close it it did get a climate control air conditioning on the top variants this is the glove box which is decent size and filled with a lot of stuff another glove box on the top again filled with a lot of stuff a tire pressure monitoring system which is aftermarket this is the unit actually it tells you how much is the tire pressure on all the wheels by the way you saw the caps on the tires which is exactly measuring this tire pressure to tell you meanwhile it gets a reverse parking camera which is aftermarket this audio system is also aftermarket and of course there are twin cubby holes here but no place to keep your phone you can keep your phone here as such a cup holder here there's a 12 volt charging socket there Not much to talk about as such however let me turn on the vehicle now this is the instrument cluster of the vehicle and it is kind of classy and nice there's a button here to go through the multi information display there's a lot of information to offer travel time average speed as well as fuel economy on offer as well as the date and the time odometer below that it tells you the range it tells you the outside temperature it gives you a clock as well you know meanwhile on the right we get a tachometer which is not like other tachometers because it's marked in 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 into 100 even though this is a diesel there is no red line marked at 5000 rpm so it's shared with the petrol model air conditioning works decently well there's space to keep stuff here no auto dimming inside rear view mirror obviously you get a mirror here and you don't get a mirror here but you get a provision to keep your toll receipts and there is a handle here the handle is all over the place the car actually feels like a tank all right so you can see the car is actually well made over here you get audio controls on the variant which does have audio controls on the steering wheel meanwhile these are the controls for the indicators and also to turn on the light and turn off the light as well okay now it has follow me home headlights yeah that's a nice touch and you can do in the inter of 30 seconds all the way till 210 seconds which happens to be around 3 and a half minutes all right let's turn on the vehicle right now before i turn on the vehicle let me show you a cool party trick about this vehicle okay that's the noise from the reverse parking camera or it's the actually the dash cam so it gets a dash cam as well let's quickly play the audio system of this vehicle motor sounds motor sounds 
audio quality is really nice but somehow it's not loud enough for my liking meanwhile these are the controls for the wipers the wipers work really well lot of spray which comes on the windscreen and obviously does a great job meanwhile there is a rear wiper as well which i will use right away and show you yeah it also works brilliantly well on this vehicle and that's not all the overall comfort level from this car is really nice because it feels like a tank now because this car is remapped it has multiple modes for the map so when you turn it on ignition before turning on the vehicle you can actually decide if you want stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 so that happens from the temperature meter of this vehicle on the instrument cluster so basically when you turn on the vehicle if it is on c that is basically the basic map the default map and it goes to the next marker when you press the accelerator once and you press it twice it goes on to the second marker press it third time it goes to the third marker and the third marker is the highest map or you can just rev past 4000 rpm and it will activate the performance map like right now and there's another option what you can do is you can rev it in neutral past 4000 rpm and it will go on the performance map that's not all it goes to the default map every time you turn off the vehicle here we go yeah no wheel spin on offer in spite of the more power and torque on offer because of the simple plain reason here that this car is running on really humongous tires so offers great amount of grip now this is the punto diesel powered by 1.3 liter diesel motor which produces 75 horsepower or 90 horsepower in the other variant which happened to be the sports now this particular car like i told you earlier has been tuned which means that it is producing slightly more power and torque and right now i'm running it on the power tune and yes you can feel that there's more punch on offer but i can see in the rear view mirrors that there is some amount of smoke which is being emitted from the exhaust because of the additional or higher ratio of power output on this vehicle from the same 1.3 liter multi-gen motor this motor is an absolute joy to use it doesn't feel like a diesel at all it feels more like a petrol because every time you get hard onto the throttle i mean it accelerates with that amount of punch that you actually feel that this is actually a petrol because it loves to redline and redlines all the way up to 5000 rpm so this engine is really very really nice there is lag lower down which is an inherent issue of this particular engine but other than that i mean this motor really pulls very nicely and sharply indeed brakes also very good in fact the dynamic balance on this vehicle is splendid right now picking it up in second gear as soon as the mid range kicks in it gives a very nice and throaty exhaust note as well along with great amount of punch look at the way it maintains its line around the corner is absolutely sensational this car has done 1 lakh 50000 kilometers almost now 1 lakh 44 i believe but you can see through the corners it has absolutely no body roll it just remains glued to the road coming to a corner braking hard the brakes are so sure footed i mean this is an amazing vehicle right now i'm going to get into first gear and as i get hard to the throttle it just pulls it loves to redline now obviously because of the tuning it has helped matters but all i can see is black in the rear view mirrors because this vehicle is obviously smoking the ride and handling balance is great even on the 17 inch lower profile rubber the way this car actually rides is just brilliant it offers is great amount of composure through the corners it offers great amount of composure through bad roads as well and high speed stability is great too the steering offers such great amount of feel and feedback i mean you can pinpoint accurate push it wherever you like that's the level of performance that's the level of handling finesse and that is a fun on offer from this particular vehicle just look at it go oh my goodness it maintains its line so brilliantly well it's absolutely fab the punto is a pure driver's joy and it really excites now obviously due to the way the gearing is I'm already in fifth gear right now although I should be in third but the motor remains quite composed when you're not pushing it hard but you need to push it hard to extract the best from this engine because it just doesn't have low end grand it is more about mid range and it also has a top end of sorts taking a u turn right away you can see the turning radius is on the higher side as well driving the motor at 5000 rpm Yeah, a little bit of wheel spin on offer, and it goes to 40 kilometers per hour in first gear. In second gear, reaches almost 70 kilometers per hour. But as much as a joy this car is to use in terms of performance, it's as disappointing in terms of gear shift because I think the gearbox has a lot of chewing gum. Like if there is a chewing gum factory in a gearbox, it has to be in Fiat's gearbox because I mean it has such notchy shifts. Although the clutch is on the lighter side, although this car's clutch isn't that light right now, I think because it's worn out a bit. That said, obviously. extracting more power from a particular vehicle is obviously going to wear out the clutch faster and in terms of mileage this was decent as well although not the most frugal of the 
1.3 liter multi-jet diesels because of the heavier weight of the car it does feel like a tank okay lag 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 now the turbo kicks in and sings its song and then it picks up pace brilliantly well so that is how the fiat punto works i mean the performance is great the way it maintains its line just look at the way it goes i mean wow so much feel so much feedback as well zero to 100 kilometers per hour used to take around 16 seconds this car should okay you can see the brakes are really very nice i mean abs did kick in there and yeah overall performance is a big thumbs up it's really not the performance it's the way it builds power it's not about how fast you go it's how you go fast that matters going through this corner just look at the composure it's a freaking composed vehicle you can maintain the line so brilliantly with so much grip on offer it's an absolute sensation driving this vehicle wow fiat wow unfortunately you're leaving the indian market so this is my tribute to fiat and although i can't do anything to stop them from going all i would say is that when you were here you made some really fantastic vehicles which appeal to the enthusiasts rev still almost 5000 rpm wheel spin yeah the motor is obviously vocal but it's a good thing you know it doesn't sound like a diesel somehow it sounds more like a petrol it's so much fun to drive as well and suddenly fiat has given enthusiasts a lot to cheer about in this time 2019 when maruti offers the baleno rs with 100 horsepower fiat has done that almost 18 years back with the palio 1.6 gtx coming around look at the compo i can't <laughs> How many times should I say this? The composure is just mind-boggling. The way the chassis has been set up, the way it offers so much feel and feedback is just in an entirely different league altogether. This car is such a joy to use. Certainly around the corners, it puts a massive smile. I have never been so composed around the corner in a hatchback because the Punto is just such a sensation. And unfortunately, it will no longer be sold in the Indian market due to upcoming norms. However, that said, let me tell you that the Punto is an absolute ballistic. stick car especially the abad and the diesel also offers great amount of performance now they had the 1.2 liter petrol they had the 1.4 liter petrol and they had the 1.4 liter abad and the 1.3 liter diesel although a 1.6 liter diesel would have been fab and there certain issues with this car obviously started to show its age and it doesn't really fare well in terms of end cap because it doesn't have some of the active and passive safety features although in terms of build it is just sensational love the performance love the handling love the ride love the dynamics love the brakes love the high speed stability love the steering it's mind boggling However the ergonomic issues the lack of service centers and of course you know difficulty in servicing the car in certain places where there are no service centers actually have made the Punto kind of obsolete and this car dates back to 2005 it is that old yet still so relevant in the Indian market and I love the way it seems so composed my goodness this is an absolute go kart a heavy go kart that is So guys this is my review of the Fiat Punto finally and if you like this video you know what you have to do give it a thumbs up that's the like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye what a car italians know how to make cars